Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Friday, the 28th of October. It's a Halloween weekend, so happy Halloween to everyone. I just wanted to do a brief uh, analysis of the G10 currency pairs on a cloud chart basis, and uh, specifically on a shorter term time frame. There's been some interesting price action on the um, cloud chart, uh, cloud charts, uh, technical charts. So we can see uh, from the uh, Australian US dollar on a four hour chart, we've uh, sliced through a key support area. We're now testing support here at the bottom end of the cloud. Um, uh, this old cloud chart shadow 0, 7, 5, uh, 75, 78. The next level of support is here at 75, 56, and then the uh, really big support zone here is 75, 20. Now watch out, I'm looking out for the MACD uh, technical cross signal to come for a buy at this support zone. So we could see another little drop to, to test this cloud chart shadow here for support before we go along on this. Um, instrument. It slides through the crowd, cloud debt, that's significant resist, uh, resistance uh, now. Um, so we could see a rebound back when it sells off to the support here, we can see a rebound back up to the bottom end of the cloud here to test for resistance. So there's a good couple of points in that uh, rally. The euro US dollar on a four hour chart basis here. We had a sell signal yeah, back at uh, zero 08. We're grinding higher signal on the sell signal, a buy signal. We're grinding higher towards the cloud. Yeah, we're now getting close to cloud, key cloud resistance. And yeah, the top end of the cloud, yeah, that will be another significant resistance zone to watch out for on a four hour chart. So we can see the euro becoming weak again after it hits this 109, 108, 109 area, and then, you know, not come back and, and, and uh, continue the overall downtrend. So watch out for the MACD sell signal in and around the cloud chart level here yeah, at the on the four hour chart. So this cloud here yeah, is a significant resistance area going into this downtrend. If it crosses the cloud and stay above, then that would be a buy signal to go higher. But so far you could look at getting out of your long that you got into on the MACD yeah, and then go short or sell it at the um, cloud resistance. Sterling US dollar, not a particularly interesting chart on a uh, for our basis, it's been grinding sideways. So we now need to see a breakout or a breakdown out of that channel. So technically, there isn't really much of a trend on the four hour chart basis. The clouds flat, thin, a thin clouds always an indication of very weak support or resistance. So it, yeah, it could go either way. So you're looking for a rebound at the bottom end of the cloud, yeah, for support. If it gets there, then we could. Uh, could see a rebound there, but so, so far the trend is somewhat to the downside based on the four hour chart. Okay, slow but steady decline. Yeah, we need a breakdown, significant breakdown of previous support zones here yeah, for it to go lower. New Zealand dollar, dollar, US dollar, yeah, the slice through the bottom end of the cloud, and yeah, we can see now the bottom end of the cloud is a resistance area. Okay, so. Yeah, we're waiting to see what it's going to do here. Yeah. If this cloud chart resistance remains in place, then we could see further weak, weakness. But if it manages to break through that cloud and then the cloud line there support, then it could, we could see it go higher. But the front end of the cloud here yeah, indicates that we have more downside to come. Okay, so it's a big negative that it sliced through the uh, cloud chart level here. Yeah. Watch out for the next level here yeah, at 7087 as a next level of support. Okay. US dollar CAD. Yeah, right for a consolidation. Yeah, after a significant rally, these cloud crosses are nice uh, things to trade on a four hour chart. Cloud cross, we had a MACD sell there, so we saw the consolidation coming. Now the downside risk is back down to the top end of the cloud, yeah, for consolidation uh, retracement. So it's going to come back and retest, uh, you know, it could come back and retest these old resistance areas for new support. So far, not a particularly, and it's definitely not a buy, the, you need a breakout out of this to, to be a buy, otherwise it's going to come back and test the uh, top end of the chart for support. So no fireworks there. US dollars for strength, stuck in a sideways trading range, bouncing off the top end of the chart for support, so it's getting close to the key support line. In this case, you could look at the um, 0, 99.20 zone, 
as the entry point in between that uh, support zone there for a, for a rebound in the euro Swiss franc, uh, sorry, US dollar Swiss franc. US dollar Danish krona pulling back after a nice rally, lovely crowd, cloud crossed here. Now pulling back to the top end of the cloud to support this area here at 6.17.875 is a key support zone. The next one up from there is the 6, uh, six spot 79.80 support zone. So that is an extreme support line. So if it dips back down into that level, you can snap it up at that area. But it's grinding into the cloud there to lift the support. The bottom end of the cloud is normally a stronger support area than the top. Okay. US dollar yen, right for a consolidation. It could come back to test these old highs for support now. Come back then and that go, that high there coincides very well with the top end of the cloud there for a key support zone. So we could see a bit of a pullback here and consolidation of this move. But so far the trend remain up. We've had um, a couple of MACD buy and sell signals on the way up here. So just watch it, it's right for consolidation and a good entry point would be on a pullback there. Okay. US dollar Norwegian Krona. There we are struggling with very significant old cloud chart resistance zones. It's, if these the resistance zones will be broken, then we could move higher. Otherwise, it's going to drift back down to the top end of the cloud here. That is a significant support zone. Eight spot 20, 46, 50 or so is a key support zone in this current uptrend. So we expect it to come back since resistance here has been holding for quite a couple of hours. It could come back to retest that and then uh, continue its uh, advance. So watch out for that. Looking for it to pull back after finding resistance here at old cloud chart resistance zones, and then it could rebound from the top end of the cloud. US dollar sec, the last one, right for consolidation here, in encountered quite significant resistance. I'm just trying to figure out where that old resistance comes from. I go to the daily. Yeah, right for a bit of a consolidation here, you can see. It needs that pullback. And on an hourly chart, we are, for our chart, we are busy with that. So where's the downside? It's going to try and push back and retest these old highs here to see if they're going to come back as support. Look, note how nicely the front end of the cloud indicates that this is support zone. So it could come back and retest that support zone and then continue its move up. MACD, bar, MACD sell signal about to come through at any one point in time, a stochastic momentum. And looking more towards the downside now. So momentum is starting to move to the downside. So it needs to consolidate its recent move, find support back up at the old highs, and then rebound from that. So the cloud, the front end of the cloud still indicates upside, but your entry point would be at the top end of the cloud, so key support zone. Okay. And uh, that's a wrap, as they say. Happy trading, and uh, speak to you next time.